Hey guys, welcome back to Retro Tech. Today I've got a new unboxing video. I'm going to be unboxing this. Uh, this has a PVM inside. And I really want to get it out because I'm concerned that it might have been shipped with the screen up instead of screen down, which is big trouble for it if that happened. But I thought I'd go ahead now and just open it up. This literally came within the last 20 minutes. It was dropped off. So let's go ahead now and we're going to take a look around the box. There was a little damage. I'll show you down here real quick. Here's the one side that was damaged pretty good, so I just wanted to take some pictures of that before I opened it in case something's wrong. This this isn't two wall or double walled cardboard, so it's pretty pretty thin. It's pretty much it. It doesn't look like it dropped or anything. Maybe just something hit it. Let's go down and open it up. Alright, let me give a box opener. Just open up and see what we got inside. And I hope it made it here safely so that we don't have to return it or file a claim. Alright, here's our packing materials. Cable. Let's see, I'm really hoping it was packed with the screen down and not... Oh, shoot. Screen up. This is very dangerous um, when it's shipped with the screen up just because there's so much weight on it. So I'm going to try to get it out of here because it doesn't look like it's been damaged but that's just a, a big problem. Yeah. So, this wasn't a terrible packing job. I mean, this is some really thick, dense foam that was laced on it. And then again, more foam in the bottom and then more packing peanuts. Or, I'm sorry, more bubble wrap. It would have been really nice for single box packing if it had had uh, the screen down on the face instead of sitting up. Let's go ahead now and put the monitor on the bench and see how it looks. All right, here's the look at the monitor. This is an Olympus OEV-143, which is the exact same as a Sony PVM-14M2, just has Olympus on it instead of Sony. So everything feels like it's fine. There was a spot right here that is dinged in. I'm hoping that was before transit and not the spot where there was damage on the side of that box. Hopefully nothing got hurt. Um, there's also a little bit of a bend back here on the shell too. Hopefully that was all done pre-buying pre this, but if we look at the back here for a second, this is a really late model, December 2003. Alright, so the Olympus OEV-143, manufactured in December of 2003. It's got RGB and uh, all the regular hookups for 14M2. So let's just go ahead now and see First, if it even powers on, and then secondly, if we can get a video signal to pull up on it. When it's shipped glass side up, it's a big risk that uh, a bump could cause damage to it. So, just go ahead now and plug it in. Power's on, sounds good. Let's see if we can get the service menu to come up. It looks like we can. That's good. Okay. Okay. First I want to go in here and go to configuration. Set up my RGB external sync. That's right. And then let's turn on a console and see what happens. Alright, look at there. So obviously, oh, look at that. It's not even that bad. Just the underscan was pushed. Okay. Oh yeah, looks good. All right, so that's good. Let's go over some of the details on this monitor. Again, this Olympus and many other Olympus CRT monitors are exact copies of Sony PVMs. The OEV-143 is the same as a 14M2 MDU. These monitors support both 240p and 480i video resolutions. It has inputs for composite, S-Video, and then two switchable inputs. And those switchable inputs can be set to accept either component analog video or RGBS analog video. And the tube on this monitor has a 600 TV line picture resolution. It will show some very nice scan lines, but the scan lines are not over pronounced as is the case in some of the higher line count BVMs and other displays. This monitor is easy to adjust through the service menu 
Now these Olympus monitors can sometimes be found for a much lower price than Sony models, especially on eBay. I was able to purchase this Olympus OEV-1 for three for only $200 shipped. Now I did take some risks as the monitor was largely untested, but it was powered on and I could see the on-screen menu in the eBay listing. And this footage you're seeing is showing the monitor with basically no adjustments done to it yet. However, it will be perfect after I get done with it and future proof it. Thanks again for watching today. Look for more videos coming up real soon about this Olympus OEV-143. But before that, I do have a full teardown restoration and future proof of a Sony PVM 1353 MD that I've already finished that will be coming even sooner than the Olympus video. But thanks again. I'll see you guys next time with some more retro content.